What's going on? Water is super low. Look at this. If you've seen the last video when I was out here, this was all underwater. So the water has to be down at least, I want to say like four or five feet. Quite a bit, a lot. It's kind of crazy when you come here. It's like literally you always want to stay in the center. And uh, it's just low tide. It's just so nice to get out on this thing. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, existing subscribers. Hit the bell notification. I'm doing free monthly giveaways. I picked a winner from last October. You want a jet tribe life vest totally free to enter be subscribed to i'm beowulf be subscribed to my second youtube channel beowulf nation follow me on instagram i am underscore beowulf if you don't do instagram then you have to follow me then on my facebook page i am beowulf and it's real easy doing those and you get entered to the free giveaways and i'll pick somebody at the end of the month on one of my live streams so totally free and i love to get back so hope you guys enjoy that and I want to hit 10,000 subscribers and give away a signed Michael Jordan photograph. Man, it's hard to tell how much light we actually got. Because it's like stormy, you know. At least I'm out here. But actually, I'm planning on selling this. So, I'm not sure what I want to do. The problem is the only place really you can ride it now is in the ocean. And I just don't know how practical that is. Um, the water's super cold right now. But we got out pretty quick pretty fast there wasn't a long wait that's what what one of the good things are but uh yeah it's nice getting back on this thing we got this long no wake zone but we'll go a little faster because time's not on our side right now we won't swing by and see the goats it's too late we're gonna kind of swing there and out
do it, yo, I need the bag first And it's just with me way before my bachelor's They with me, yo, they say I need a master's They must have never heard me rap, that's a fact word The system got me on my back, what's the answer?
Oh my god! Woohoo! <laughs> what was that that just jumped out? That was a fish. Still, I thought it started it. I have no neutral, so it's either I'm going forward or I'm off. What's that? What's that? What'd you say? I can't hear anything when I'm on this. She wasn't fussing. She said that she couldn't drive, but she don't drive that boat much. Oh. Show what she's doing so to kind of watch out. <laughs> I just, what I said is I have no, there's no reverse or neutral. It's just this thing is either it's off or going forward. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's you why you just have to be just circling. Yeah. All right. I ain't never rode one of them. Uh, it's, okay. Coming here is probably the, it's riding around here is probably like the scariest thing to do. Yeah, I bet. So if you saw earlier, there was a school of bait fish jumping at the surface means something like a fish, shark, whatever, dolphin, anything could have been chasing after them that they're fleeing out of the water. And then something like a little fish jumped out there. Definitely it's, uh, I don't know what place is scary right here. The intercoastal, <laughs> look at, <laughs> there's something chasing them underwater. Oh my gosh. I don't know where it's more scary to ride, here or the intercoastal. It is this like, no thanks, no thanks. <sighs> when you're this low and you're just like, you're basically on a, a little raft. <sighs> this is just, this is too crazy. And probably dusk and dawn is probably the worst to come here. I don't know, may I ride it here another day when you have more time? I just don't know. I just think it's time to sell it and get something else. It's just here, it's just uh, stand up right in here. It's just this area is the top three most dangerous beaches for sharks. And now I'm on the stand up. Like I'm freaking got to get my head checked or something. Whew. No joke. <laughs> Especially at dusk. I've never, I mean, I've seen big sharks here, but on sit down jet skis, right? Like, look at something's. Something's underwater chasing after them. See, look at they just built one of them. Oh, what could this be? Oh my gosh. And I gotta stick my hands in the water too. <laughs> what the see the thing is, is everybody coming here? These are all fishing people. These aren't like this isn't like a recreational place to ride. This is like talking about the most dangerous place to probably go on that stand up is here. Cause this is just all this is, is just fishing people i mean last video we saw a, a yamaha wave runner here and he was out fishing oh man i got oh, look at that big jellyfish too check that out Ooh, don't reach that Let's check that out that's pretty cool jellyfish that's pretty wild. those things are for your day that's what's probably the best thing coming here too is wearing a wetsuit that's why this time i wear my jet tribe wetsuit is I knew it was gonna get a little bit cooler. Yeah, forget this spot, man. You can get some but jellyfish. <sighs> Who needs caffeine, man? You come here and it's like your blood is just going. Just going, man. 
awesome place to ride. I am more fun around a sit down jet ski though. Last time, last time I had a ride in on, the trailer was hard and some dumb fish guts right when I was crawling alongside it. Yeah, if I was somewhere like where there wasn't stuff that would eat you, oh, I think Steve would be tons of fun right in here. And it's just a matter of time to something happens. Problem too is when you're riding this thing, your hands stick out so far, and your elbows. It's like somebody would even have to touch the ski to get me. It's easier to ride here. That's what's so frustrating. Here's the still the current's too strong, and then here's the ideal place. It's an awesome place to ride. This thing doesn't float away on me. That one really suck. <sighs> the time is super low. So low. Usually this, the barriers would usually be way farther up like normal see the marker right about here the water is supposed to be so it's a good distance down fun coming here the one thing i love about riding out here is there's so much different places to, to ride and uh you don't have to travel far but at least before selling this sxr 1500 you have to at least say i ride in the ocean i said i would never ride that thing in the ocean but i did I should just have more light. This time change thing is just really annoying to deal with. I had to do all this stuff today too, which was like literally racing to get out here. And uh, luckily it wasn't that long to get in. Usually it takes forever to launch. And the hard thing there, luckily the ramp is low enough that I can like pick myself up on there. Because usually the other place, I ride up to the ramp, then hop off. That's messed up too, man. These masks. People have got to just, you know, if you put one on, throw it away. I went on. But, uh, yeah, so basically, the other boat ramp, I can ride right up to the ramp, jump off. Because the ramp, the dock is a little bit too high to, to do um, what I do hopping up. That's what we're doing when we first started doing that. That's what I was trying to do. You know, it's basically what people don't realize this is that's a, that's a really tight spot to uh, maneuver to get on there. I can't imagine what to do if there's tons of people over there. See that thing's going forward, it hurts off. And I don't think people realize that. That's why you, you, you take for granted stuff like that. It's a fun thing to ride. I love riding the Midwest. It's just when something huge is underwater. And it's like, you got bull sharks, alligators, in the intercoastal, right? And then you got here, you got still have alligators, you got bull sharks, tiger sharks, uh, uh, jellyfish, uh, you got great white sharks, uh, tiger sharks, I've been to say already, you know, like, a lot more stuff that could ruin your day. A lot more stuff. So it's one of those things, like, this is not as fun. You think about that. I try to get myself all pumped up not to think about it. And he sees stuff popping out and stuff. You're like, oh, God. Oh, my gosh. What are we up to? So, basically, where I'm on the fence to figure out where I want to sell it if I trade it in. And get a Kawasaki 310R. So, maybe when this video is uploaded, I already got a 310R. I just don't know. I just got to figure out what I'm doing with the stand-up first. And then deciding what I'm doing. You don't even know. 2022... 
They are coming out with new Kawasaki 310R. You just don't know. May they come up one? You might want to wait a year. I just don't know. Something's on fire. It smells like, you can see the smoke? It smells like burnt plastic. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I got two Ford Crown Vic P71 police interceptors. And uh, this one, I just got a new set of tires. I got to make more videos with this stuff because there's definitely some cool stuff I've been doing to them. This is a Triton Wave trailer. It uh, got the tinted, windows tinted. Got these new BF Goodrich tires on it. I'm saying it's crazy. I got one that has 68,000 miles and this one has almost 183,000. They both ride about the same, which is for a vehicle I find quite impressive because most vehicles you put tons of miles on it and you don't find it riding that good. Really nice car, dependable, and uh, definitely fun to ride. You have a lot of fun? Yeah, it was fun out there. Good. Be safe. You too.